When a nation believes that every human race came from Mother Nature, there is no origin. Therefore, the ape is your granddad. Next time you go to Taronga Zoo and you see that gorilla in there, throw him a banana and say, Garai, Grandpa. When we take God out of that equation, there is no more meaning to nothing. I ask someone who believes in nothing, then what are you? Who are you? And, and what, what are you all about? If you believe in nothing, then you're nothing. Because what you believe in is what makes you. Then if your belief is in nothing, then next time you talk, I'm gonna deny you totally because a nothing is speaking. Where is the meaning in here? The meaning of what a human is all about, nothing. And then the morality, moral values. Maybe what I'm saying to some of you are too big of words. I'll try and be very simple as much as I can. Moral values is, who is gonna teach me what is right and what is wrong? Who's gonna tell me this is right and this is wrong? Am I gonna be just free in the sense I decide what is right and wrong? So therefore, mom, to me you don't exist. Dad, to me you don't exist because I'm living in a country, they're telling me you are free, no one can stop you. So, at the age of 15, 16, 17, 18, in my 20s, I'll do whatever I want because it's a free country. And I decide what is morally is right and what is morally wrong, I decide. Then my question as a teenager, what do you know about morals? What do you know about values? What do you know about life? Yet it is so complicated, so deep in meaning. Not, not much. You're still living that life. You haven't lived it for you to understand it. I remember once, this girl came to me crying crying like a baby, like there was rivers of tears gushing down her face. Father, father, I'm destroyed, father. What's wrong, my daughter? My boyfriend left me. How old are you, my, my darling? 16. How long have you known this guy? Four years, father. I started counting backwards. 16 minus 1, 15, minus 2, 14, minus 3, 13, minus 4, 12. So you were still drinking milk in a, in a dummy. Guys, pay attention. Anyone comes to you and says, don't listen to mom and dad, go out as you please. Do not befriend that person. Anyone says to you, you can do whatever you want, you're absolutely free, this is Australia. They are lying to you, lying. Anyone that says it does not matter if this guy chooses to be a male or a female or in between. It is a free country. We should love one another. Same sex marriage is no different to any other marriages. We do not accept it because our Jesus says otherwise. Do not listen. Australia has got nothing to do with the Christian faith. Australia has got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. The Australia has got nothing to do with God. God will always be God. You cannot impose your laws and rules as a government on my faith. How come an atheist has the right to attack me as a Christian? And I can't say nothing because he is in the right. Where is fairness? Where is 
justice here? Where is freedom of speech? Where is freedom of religion? I wonder, I'm saying this to every nation. What happened? You know what? We're living in the end of times. The attack is against Jesus Christ because Satan is behind all of this. Satan will not attack Muhammad because he won him long time ago. Satan will not go after Buddha because he won him long ago. Satan will not go after Krishna because he won him and the 300 million gods long ago. Satan was overcome by one and was crushed on Calvary. His name is Jesus. That's why he will attack Jesus. And everyone who professes and confesses Jesus Christ will be attacked. My beloved children, I know what happens at school. I know exactly what happens. You need to be equipped in your Christian faith. Otherwise, it is not a joke of what is happening in the world. They are brainwashing everyone. The social media platform is doing a great job in giving you nothing but lies. Lies.